Plenty of attention, and particularly for both clubs, will be at the tribunal this week with Jared Berry fighting his one game ban for making unnecessary or unreasonable uh, contact to the eye region of Melbourne's Clayton Oliver. Now, that one game ban was uh, low impact, uh, high contact, and uh, intentional conduct, which is the one that they're certainly going to fight um, at the tribunal if they can lower that uh, careless charge to. Um, oh, sorry, intentional charge too careless, then um, that'll see Barry escape with a fine as opposed to the ban and see him free to play the lines. Now, it's not going to be that simple. Um, you could certainly argue that, yes, despite all the grappling and, and, and Oliver's arm firmly on his, on his neck, that uh, Barry could have seen and, and saw what he was doing to Oliver and you know, obviously making the contact um, intentionally. So that's where a lot of that uh, argument is going gonna, is gonna to circle around for both the AFL pushing the careless charge and then on top of that, the Lions. Um, going against, oh, sorry, the intentional charge and the lines going for the careless charge to see that get downgraded. So it's plenty to play out the tribunal. How do you see this one kind of favouring Berry or perhaps going yeah, the other you, way? Yeah, you said it's not that simple. I, I think it absolutely is that simple. I mean, Clayton Oliver is a big brute of a man and they're, they're having a big wrestle and that's fine. I, I had no issue with that. But his elbow is on his cheekbone, jaw region, possibly his throat. Barry needs to be able to defend himself and do just what comes naturally as anyone. If, if we were to do that right now, that same scenario, not in a football field, everyone would expect you to do whatever you could to get out of that scenario. To expect that Barry has this level of calm over him when he's in front of 60,000 people at the MCG in a semi-final with a 90 kilo man's elbow on his jaw is ridiculous. It's Yes, he got his eye, but he didn't hack at the eye. His hand moves off his face rather quickly. I know there was a bit of talk about Oliver having a bloodshot eye. He had that before the game. That wasn't as a result of the Berry incident, and I think that's that'll be critical to Brisbane's defence. But, I mean, if we stop players from being able to defend themselves, I think we're getting in a really dangerous territory there. We, we he didn't. He's obviously not going to claw at his face. I don't think Berry's that kind of player. I don't think... Anyone thinks Jared Berry's that kind of player. I know Oliver had an issue with it at the time and he made it quite clear to the umpires. And that's fair enough. If your face gets gouged out, you'd, yep, you'd be angry, you'd be fuming and you'd want to make it known to the umpires. But I think cool heads should prevail and just understand that he was in a situation that he's arguably probably never been in his life and he reacted in the only way that his body knew how. It's instinct to just protect yourself, look after yourself however you can and... I think we can, we can move on. I think suspending someone, whether it's a prelim or whether it was round 13, for defending themselves is just ludicrous.